Welcome to Grown Up Guide Pup. If you tuned in last week, you saw that we worked with Ricky on one of her big issues, pigeons. Well, this week we worked on her other big issue, squirrels. So if you've been following, you know in previous weeks we've shown Ricky having some issues with some squirrels. Well, I've been really trying to work hard on this with Ricky, but it's been a little difficult. One, it was raining a whole lot and the squirrels just weren't out and about, so it was really hard to find them. And two, when we did find them, there was only one or two here and there, and they didn't stick around for a very long time, so Ricky really didn't get much work in on them. So my solution to this problem was to find a fake squirrel, one that looked pretty realistic that hopefully Ricky would have a similar reaction to. Ricky also seems to have an affinity for stuffed animals, and when we were having our evaluation with our community field representative, she did rake out a fake squirrel just to see how Ricky would react. And well, she pretty much lost all control, and really had a hard time focusing on anything but the stuffed squirrel. So to work on this problem, I did find a pretty realistic looking stuffed squirrel, and without Ricky seeing me place it outside, I've been placing it throughout the yard in various places, on trees, in the grass, just to make it look like there's a squirrel sitting there, and then bringing Ricky out for her to see it. Just like with the pigeons, I've been keeping Ricky pretty far away from this squirrel and not letting her get too excited by it. So we've been pretty much doing the same thing, walking her close to it, and then walking away. And as soon as she She's not reacting as much, we're taking her closer and closer, little by little. When we first brought out the squirrel, Ricky did react a little bit to it, but after a few times, she's really getting the hang of it. I'm almost wondering if she's starting to realize this is a setup. She's still looking at the squirrel and trying to check it out a little bit, but she's not reacting to it like she used to. She's not getting all amped up or excited. She's just simply walking by it and taking a closer look to try to figure out what exactly it is. I've been working with Ricky almost on a daily basis with this stuffed squirrel for only about 10 minutes at a time. And over a week, she's made huge progress. She's gone from pretty much reacting excited and really wanting that squirrel to being able to walk by it and not have any reaction except for just looking at it. Training with the stuffed squirrel can be pretty convenient because I can pretty much take it anywhere I go and set Ricky up in multiple places. We're working our way towards that and hopefully with the help of Matt, we'll be able to surprise her with the squirrel and as we're walking, have it just pop out and fall to the ground and then see if she reacts to it. She's not quite there yet, but I think in a few more days of working on this, she'll be ready for that. So as you can see, even though the distraction training isn't the most exciting thing, it's really important because, well, it can be a deal breaker on her becoming a guide dog. Now, she's not rolling over and tucking her tail between her legs. She's putting up a pretty good fight and really trying hard to do what I'm asking of her. So we'll continue to keep you posted and we'll hope that she keeps improving and we'll see you next time on Grown Up Guide Pup. Bye.